The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary as strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the eternal fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. You saved me, right? I helped. I wonder what'll happen to me now. Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Sorry, kid. It's alright. I barely knew them. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden. Merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes. Many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Who are the Scoyatel? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels. Called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard, or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own. Or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts, cursed witch! <sighs> oh my, a witcher. Welcome. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. Do you have any magic against phantom hounds? What about your sword? I heard witchers carry two. A silver blade for monsters and steel for humans. Both are for monsters. Unfortunately, I lack the silver one. I know of an ointment. When it coats your blade, you'll cause grievous harm even to specters. The formula will cost you thirty orans. Greetings, witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? So be it. What do you want? I'm looking for witcher's work. 
Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witches do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Stop. Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We gotta check. What's that? Eh, uh, chip. Well, keep. Well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. Be gone, devil's breed. Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed, there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts, for it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you one hundred orans. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel and Haran. Can you solve their problems too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Haran a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. Are you a chaplain of the eternal fire? Yes, heathen! Only the eternal fire can save us from the white frost. Really? So says the prophecy of Ithlene, the elven witch. Is that so? The old world will die to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, witcher? So tell me, who gave you leave to meddle in the affairs of humans? You, an emotionless mutant. Answer, who? I apologize, Reverend. Whosoever blasphemes deserves no forgiveness. You a witcher? How did you know? Saw one like you recently and asked the Reverend. Never learned his name, but he wished to enter the city. Did they let him into Vizima? I know not. He approached the Reverend, perhaps for help. Anything else? Nothing I haven't said. Tell me more about the other witcher. I know little. So try to remember what you already told me. He spoke with the Reverend, then took his leave. He seemed fearful. Thanks.